Tom Ping, uh, Executive Chairman of Personal Development Leadership Management Corporation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and of course, Mr. Leonard Chua, CEO, the man who died twice, as people mention it, to tell us more about Pursuit of Excellence. Yes. Yeah. I don't want to refer Leonard as the man who died twice all the time, so I'm not going to say that anymore. Let's just say he is the man who has been so hard. Got reincarnated. Yes, you are a survivor. Uh, maybe we can start off the question with uh, Dato. Tell us more about the upcoming seminar, when and where. Oh, I see. Uh, we organized this particular seminar for one day mm -hmm. in pursuit of excellence mm -hmm. uh, seminar featuring four speakers mm -hmm. and it's on the Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, 22nd of November <coughs> and will be held in Holiday Villa Subban. Okay. Uh, the purpose of this seminar is to help people to form a good habit of excellence in whatever they do in life, whether it's studies, business, sales, in housework, or whatever it is. Yeah, fantastic. Now, Leonard, uh, you have actually become an inspiration uh, to a lot of people uh, compared to what you've gone through. Uh, for you, uh, though, if you not know of Leonard, he actually had an accident, as uh, Yasmin mentioned earlier. He had yes. a massive accident in 2005, and uh, he survived that accident. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was revived twice because they declared him dead for 10 minutes and 2 minutes Ten respectively. Minutes. Uh, tell us about Leonard, where do you get this inspiration to continue on life despite the odds that have you know, put against you? Uh, when I see uh, some other disabled people, okay. I'm much more better than them. I can give up to them. Mm -hmm. you know? And although I'm a in big twice, I still be sitting here like this. So it's a miracle. Yes. So I want to bring this miracle to them. Show them the hope. I've been doing it from the, 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 I think you are an inspiration, even for the aid, even for the aid, you are an inspiration, you know, because people go about their lives and they have small problems, they have small problems, they have small problems, they have small problems, so what, um, that would, um, are your hopes for this seminar? What are the message that you would like to send across? We would like to send across an important message that despite of the present challenges and changes in life, one can still help themselves to do well consistently. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the speakers themselves are proven in the sense that they are actually applying those principles and techniques to help them to perform with actions. Mm -hmm. and from good habits. Well, let's talk about good habits. Stuff. You, you've actually been training people for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. 40 uh, years. More, 40 years, I know, oh my god. 40, 40, 40 years. years. 40 uh, years. I can actually say my dad had gone through training with you. Oh, in both of our fathers. That's so what I said. If you want to go back, that's what I was saying. We sure will find that. Definitely. Yeah. The both the, the VHSs. Uh, now, in the changes over these 40 years, mm -hmm. uh, you have done people in the yesteryear. Mm -hmm. And you've also done, you're doing the generation uh, the younger generation right now, uh, the generation Y or X, whatever you call them, right. what is the difference that you see between these two generations? Well, there's a lot of differences. In fact, in the working environment, there are three or even four generations. The first one is the veterans. Some organizations still employ people who are both 60 years old. Mm -hmm. And of course, the most common one is those are baby boomers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other one is the uh, uh, X generation and also the Y generation. Mm -hmm. Well, the difference is vast because personally I've trained three generations in the sense that the, the present generation are very different in approach than the previous generation. Previous generation, we always talk about the importance of values, being hardworking, being loyal, being dedicated, being, uh, you know, work with, work with passion and all that. But as time goes along, because of the easy upbringing by the present generation, children tend to be laid back, mm -hmm. take it easy. And they are smart, but unfortunately they focus too much on these technological devices yes. like Facebook, mm -hmm. like internet, uh, video games, mm -hmm. laptop computers, and some other, they begin to see that lifestyle is more important yeah than making a career in the future for themselves. Right. So they lack that kind of discipline. They like to express themselves, but lack a lot of self-control. Okay. 
So, um, Leonard, can you also share with us? Um, Dr. is very passionate about, about, about um, what he's talking about. Um, and you, being where you come from, maybe you can share with the news. Again, you said that you were in the darkness before. Who inspired you in that? Because now you are an inspiration to everybody, but at back then, who was, who was your inspiration? That's one, um, uh, one person from uh, Australia. Nick, Nick mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, the man with the, the audience. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, he's my, 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 my mentor. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He, no. he, he has so many things on, on himself. That's true. That's yeah. true. And you had, uh, could you share a little bit of your story? How difficult was it for you to, you know, come back to uh, getting out of, you know, that, that accident? time and, and moving on like mm -hmm. uh, could you could you just you know I mean we see the pictures on the screen right now uh, dear viewers is uh, what you would have seen uh, Leonard had gone through uh, just you know, share the stories I'm, I'm first I'm paralyzed from the chest right I can feel or move from muscle out and um, give my arms mm -hmm. okay and I'm, I'm only breathing with half my lungs wow mm -hmm. and I, I had to sit very very Okay. After that, during that, I got off the train for the plane. During that, okay. So it affected my speech. Okay. So I suppose to speak as well. Talk to talk to my tongue. You know, every every day. Okay. Then I also lost my my hand function. Mm -hmm. I have to I have to turn back my my hand function by exercising every day. Mm -hmm. You were a model before that. Yeah. How I mean, how does this affect? You? Because you know, you, uh, as a model, you, you are selling yourself. You, you are very much about your physical appearance. How does it change that effect? I totally I, I couldn't take it. I, I, I almost committed suicide. I think I committed suicide. You actually committed suicide? I pulled off my, I pulled off my breast, my breast breaker. Mm -hmm. I took my mom's breast, she took she took back from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she remembered. I took every many things. Um, despite my, my injuries. Okay. Right. Right. And, um, and this is probably something that you can highlight uh, in your in your pursuit of excellence. I mean, this is yes, right. pursuing excellence in his life despite the uh, problems so awesome. and the odds that have been set against it. Mm -hmm. uh, but coming back to your seminar itself, maybe a little bit info on the seminar. When, where, will it be held? How can people get in touch with PDL? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually they can contact us at uh, our address. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is uh, our handphone number or our general line. Our okay. general is 03798 successful there mm -hmm. in business mm -hmm. because she found her passion. So she speaks of passion and how one can discover one's passion and purpose. Mm -hmm. And after that, the second speaker is Tansi, Dr. Uh, Dr. M. Jacobson, mm -hmm. as you know, is a flying doctor. Right. And during his days as a school student, mm -hmm. that is, he was outstanding in sports as well as in studies. Mm -hmm. Even in his adult life, he's a real model to be a successful person. And he shared with us a uh, pathway to access glimpses of his personal journey mm -hmm. and how he succeeded, you know. And then the third speaker is of course Leonard. Mm -hmm. Leonard will talk about uh, not taking your life for granted. Mm -hmm. Even though what kind of odds you face, you can still overcome it with the kind of courage, determination and strength, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So if he can do it, why not? Normal people yeah. or those who are struggling in life. Able bodied people uh, like any one of us. That's yes. right. What yes. stops us? Yeah, that's true. That's right. Um, and, and, the, yeah. and the fourth one is mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. yes. I will do any transform the four business. Mm -hmm. Help them, uh, help them to form good habits. Mm -hmm. What they have to do every day, every month, every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, so tell us, Leonard, um, you have an ambition of helping others, you know, taking them out from the darkness, uh, you know, be their landline, be their, um, uh, be their hope, be their, hope, or be their uh, 
a person who, who, who actually helps them from doing. Tell us more about the Beyond We Have One. Oh, we just want, I just want, Uh, by yourself, you invite the public to tell them what is it that you require from them, that they can help you in any manner. Mm-hmm. So we're currently, we're currently uh, looking funds to set up a web and so on. So we're currently at zero. Oh dear. How much do you need? I need uh, about 700,000 mm-hmm. right. to buy my own for renovation. And uh, would you be also applying to maybe the authorities like the welfare department to mm-hmm. assist you in this matter? I spoke a little the welfare department. As this is the red carpet to you, to everybody out there who is right. listening to this, um, please check out. Do we have the website? Yes. Okay, the website is? Um, okay, you have the website. You should put that out. Can, I think even in the website, it has information. How do you help? How do you give up, how do you give um the funds and nations and so on? Um, I think that's very interesting. It is. I mean any amount that you can donate yes. to Asia, think about this. Mm-hmm. Yes, there can help in any way possible. Yes. I think we should give a lending hand to this uh, manner. Uh-huh. Any way you can send Again, it. Again it's hundred bucks. It makes you know, we have wellness I think you should check that out and that's all. As um, a message to all the viewers and to all the young generations, you know, you are, you get your say you're talking to the third generation here. Um, tell us about what can they expect from the seminar other than from listening to four really big speakers, what they can um, go back to. Oh, that's a good question. They go back and take away uh, ideas and techniques that are proven to apply in their daily lives. Mm-hmm. Like I said, in any field, uh, to excel. Mm-hmm. Because uh, to, to excel is not just an act and do once in a while, it's a habit that you do every day. And what's also important in this modern world, there are so many changes and challenges that one has to be prepared to face those challenges. Mm-hmm. As I've helped a lot of sports people, uh, people from all walks of life, to face the challenges, and today many of them are very, very successful, okay. including your parents. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, because you know, when, when we listen to all your thoughts, we're uh, talking about having yourself, oh, this is the yes. thing that our parents are saying yes. to us when we were growing up. That's true. That's true. Um, Maybe we can also share with the, again, young people. Do you think life is going too fast so that to actually focus, do you actually lose focus because everything is better? That's right. Things are moving so fast that they tend to lose focus and there's a lot of distraction and attraction. Mm-hmm. That they have to stay focused and focus, concentrate on what they do best. That's mm-hmm. why they must find their purpose and, and then the passion and then the, the means of which how they acquire it to help them to do well. And of course, they need mentors yeah. and coaches to help them, to guide them through the journey of life. Fantastic. Now, one question, uh, Dato, I remember that in the yesteryears, you used to also have seminars and conferences and workshops for young kids. Yes. Are you still doing that? Yes, we are still doing doing the school holidays. In fact, yeah. uh, this coming December, uh, November, December, we have student classes for various groups, mm-hmm. you know. Fantastic. And, and, and they can reach you at the Wisma PDL. That's right. Oh at our website, uh, write with us, or, you know, info at pdl.com.my. Okay. okay. Lana, before we end this and, and uh, you know, before we let you go, uh, mm-hmm. one word of uh, inspiration or maybe a word of hope that you want to send out to the people out there uh, in what you hope to, you know, achieve it with the wellness sector. Today, hope. If you don't give up, 
There is hope if you don't give up. There is hope if you don't give up. Uh, and I understand that you not giving up. We are seeing you as a beacon of hope for a lot of people out there. Yes. It's absolutely fantastic. And we're honored to have both of you mm -hmm. here. Thank you very much for your time. Leonard, we wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. That's what we wish you all the best as thank well. You. Yes, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I think just talking to you really changed. That's you true. know, it is, it is a short, it really, it really changed our life. Hopefully, it will change everybody uh, that is watching. And hope to okay. see you on um, 22nd November 2011. 95 times. Right. Malaysia, make your way down. Uh, if, if you want to change your life in some manner, if you want to see a person who has brought in hope to a lot of people who thought life is over for them, well, talk to Leonard and you'll have a different perspective altogether. Mm -hmm. uh, the only movie that brings to mind is In Pursuit of Happiness, which Will Smith did. Oh, uh, I was thinking of Buzarish. <laughs> there you go. I was thinking of Two Buzarish. different movies, but basically okay, carry the same theme message. of mm -hmm. courage, hope, and the fact that you can mm -hmm. bring some kind of beacon of light to yes. people next year. Okay, we have a short break uh, about how good after this, and then we are going to talk to you next